is a real bundle of nervous energy, isn't he? This has been the most difficult rivalry for Federer down the years. He's got a, a heavy losing record against Nadal, of course, particularly... It's very nicely done. It's more like it. Yeah, so you're going to have to look to use that serve and volley, but use it sparingly, use it yes. at the right times. That could prove to be a very... It's a lovely shot. Opened up the court beautifully with his penultimate forehand. And then no mistake there, look at the arc of the ball. Just the right amount of spin on that to be able to control it. I think Federer should be doing perhaps a little more than he has done so far. Going to the Nadal forehand with the backhand cross. <laughs> He's followed well all week. He's closed down the net beautifully. Beautiful. Lovely shot. Yeah, you compare that backhand to some of the backhands in, in the previous rally and the one he lost. He's taken this one earlier. That'll do it. Well, a saber was found wanting earlier, but it's Federer who draws first blood. I'm just thinking whether he'd feel additional pressure because I mean he's had such a good year compared to Nadal. You know, playing indoors on a home. If he loses this match, I mean there are gonna be one or two that would say, well, if you can't beat Nadal this afternoon, you know, you have no chance. Oh, it's a beautiful combination. He had time, chose his spot wisely and executed. Perfectly. Oh, what a shot! That is magnificent! Well, incredible shot. Look at how far away he is from the court. Yes. Nadal had done everything right there. Oh, what a wonderful combination. The deep approach and then death touch on the volley. And Nadal as well here in this passing shot. But look at the hand skills there. Let's get that one across and... That'll do it. The signal for much more cowbell. Federer takes the opening set pretty comfortably in the end. Six games to three. Superb opening service game. Yeah. 
Mbappe, he's got that sus now. That backhand cross court to the forehand there of Nadal. That's the key shot. 30, 15. Oh, such a good footwork, nice early ball on the final forehand. Yeah, that was the key, wasn't it? After he's hit the forehand wide, he moves inside the baseline. that shot well I think indoors it just has to go a little closer to the line especially against the likes of Federer 15 off yeah, nice mix up you got a lot of options when you're going wide that's a let it bounce take on the second or Federer is oh what a volley superb shot it's so well to control it of the match so far without a shadow of a doubt from Nadal. Incredible strength Not here 15. from Nadal. And there's the break. Stunned silence greets it. Say he's hitting the ball well, isn't he? It's an outstanding set of tennis. It's competed exceptionally well all week here in Basel. And more of the same there in set number two. Confidence in him. Interesting also, we've seen Federer play this week uh, when he uses the slice backhand. Great pass, isn't it? I actually thought Federer could have come in on the forehand before. Almost went in on the wrong shot, but still got to hand it to Rafa. He's got to make it. I don't know the woods yet. Beautifully done. shot Federer is making his move here yeah Nadal wasn't able to get this angle cute enough so chance there for Federer just to move inside good striking for the championship He's 
done it. Federer gets the break and is indeed a decent service game away from victory now. It's a lovely return. He hasn't dealt with the kicker very well all afternoon, but he did on that occasion. And he's ready. That's Superb anticipation there. What a point. Clutch from Federer. Brilliant pickup by the court coverage after. That's the key here. And be kicking himself. He's done it. Victory for Federer. His first over Nadal since early in 2012 gives him a seventh title here in Basel. But perhaps in Federer we have the greatest champion of all time. Roger Peter.